hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be moisturizing and sealing my hair and i wanted to show you how i do it if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and if you are new here welcome and don't forget to subscribe i release videos every sunday so subscribe now so you'll be one of the first to get notified every time i upload I start by sectioning my hair in two and finger detangling it. This helps to loosen up any tangles or knots. I do this very gently so I don't break my hair off and usually if you do this first combing your hair is going to be so much easier. So I do this very generously taking my time there is no rush you don't want to rush things you want to be very gentle with your hair. I do the same thing on the other side of my hair as well like I said take your time with this you don't want to break your hair off if you don't have time to properly comb and detangle your hair I think you should just postpone it to a time when you do I'm just putting half of my hair away while I work with the other half so with this half of my hair, I'm going to divide it into three sections. I don't like working with smaller sections because it's easy to apply a lot of products on a smaller section of your hair and that weighs my hair down and makes it greasy. Since I'm moisturizing and sealing, I'm going to be using two products, a leave-in conditioner and an oil. The leave-in conditioner I'm using is the Profective Mega Growth Leave-in Conditioner. My coconut oil and a comb. So with the section of hair that I've set aside, I do a little more finger detangling and then I add the leave-in conditioner. See how creamy it is. I apply it to my hair and go in a combing fashion with my fingers so that I get it into every strand of hair. You can add more if you need more product. don't forget to be gentle with your hair then at this point I have a lot of new growth so I put some products in my fingers and then I begin to massage it to the roots of my hair to make sure that the product gets to those new growths as well I like to comb the hair out first after applying the leave-in conditioner just to make sure I've gotten to every strand of hair then I go in with my coconut oil to seal in the moist jaw. Working it in from the roots to the tip of my hair. One last comb. And I'm done with that section of hair. Then I put it in a twist. Um, let me know in the comments. Am I the only one that twists backwards? Because when I see people twisting the other way, it actually feels really weird to watch. So I'm taking out another section of hair and I'm going to repeat the same thing on this section of hair um while we are at it don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time that i upload i upload every sunday also give this video a thumbs up as well i have about six weeks of new growth here so I'm six weeks post relaxer and the root of my hair already becoming thick and bushy. 
so i have to make sure that i get that product into it to soften it usually when you're done with a section of hair you don't need to recomb it so you don't do one section comb it do another section and then add it to the previous section and comb everything together once you've combed and detangled one section it's good to go I'm just going to speed this up really quickly since I'm doing the same thing on this section too. You may be wondering why I'm not doing the infamous LOC and SCO method. Well, that's because I can't use all three products on my hair. I usually just use the liquid which is a leave-in conditioner and oil so that's like LO. If I use three, if I use if I add cream to it, it just becomes so heavy on my hair i don't know am i the only one that experiences this let me know in the comments you can also find me on instagram at ij.linda i have a lot of content there as well there are really helpful tips to help you get long beautiful hair on that page so definitely check it out so i'm done with one side of my hair i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side of camera and then slow down with this last piece of hair to show you again my process so i start with finger detangling then I apply the leave-in conditioner don't forget your tips the tip of your hair is the oldest part of your hair so you want to pay extra attention to it then of course on my fingertips to work it into my roots like I said I have a lot of new growth Then I comb it just to make sure that I've evenly applied leave-in conditioner to every strand of my hair. After that, I seal it with oil. I use coconut oil. Three drops is usually what I need. Anything more than that and my hair just feels way down. I hate that feeling. don't forget the tip of your hair one last comb and I'm going to put the hair in a twist And this is the wrap. I'm done. This is how it looks like from the back. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to loosen this off camera and I'll be right back. So my hair is almost dried and sealed now. It feels so soft. This is how much hair I've I shed in this session. This is how much hair I lost. Yeah. And is a wrap. What do you think? Is there anything you'd like to add in the comment? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And share this video too as well. Share it to your friends. Share it to people you'd like to see it. And have I said subscribe? Please subscribe if you haven't done so by now. Thank you so much. And see you next time. Bye. Thank you.